all right so this is photoshop and let's choose pixels 1080 by 1350 let's click create let's start with a gradient background so come over here click we have gradient so let's make it linear and click here drop the basics click the first guy uh for the side no let's start with the top so i'll paste in this color and the side i will just click here to pick a color and then bring it here somehow click ok click ok when i get here i can click drag up a little all right click now let's get some guys by going to view and new guide layout let me drag it here so uh the top i'm just going to run 85 throughout okay so here is going to be 85 pixels okay and this place is going to be 85 pixels now let's take the ellipse to and then let's create an ellipse so you can hold um, shift on the keyboard to get a perfect ellipse like that now let's create a new layer and grab the brush so when you take the brush to right click and choose hard round brush okay and make sure the foreground color is white uh, black sorry so make sure it's black up here all right now over here with the brush to select it up here you will see this guy the symmetry click that and choose the mandala okay and the segment count make it 10 click ok so let's place it here and then scale it up so do your best to place it at the center you can look at the corners around all the lines extending so still with the brush tool selected let's use the brackets open and close so you're going to use the open uh, bracket to reduce the size of the brush like this okay so the size of the brush will determine the spacing okay so uh let me decrease it more all right let me just go in here so you are going to click on one of the these lines okay so click at one end you see it will reflect over here hold shift on the keyboard and click on the center so those are what you got okay so when we trim out we cut out these black lines will be the space okay or the spaces between them all right so if you want bigger spaces make sure you choose bigger brush size okay all right but I, I like this so this is it and i'm just going to move from brush to move to hold control on the keyboard and click on this and rasterize the second one so with the ellipse this is the ellipse okay select and right click rasterize layer and then you can hit delete on the keyboard it will cut out so after that you can delete the top one and control d we now have this okay now let's grab the elliptical marquee tool okay so click the center click the center and drag you can hold shift and alt on the keyboard okay and create a shape um, a size like this cool now let's hit delete to cut out all right so this is uh, what i got here now if in case you think these shapes are smaller or you want to or the space in here is bigger let's undo okay and with the marquee selected you can just go to select and modify no 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 no, no. <laughs> transform selection somewhere here all right so you can resize the marquee size like this if you want this you can go for it if you want it to be a little bigger you can go for that okay and after that a hit delete on the keyboard to cut up good now we need to separate each of these okay we need to cut them out into a new layer so that we can clip uh, the images in so let's grab this guy the polygonal lasso too and that's what we are going to do i'm just going to do two or three and i'll skip then do the rest so we are going to select around each shape so i'll click here and then 
make sure the line passes through the space here click and then click here and then make sure it passes through don't let it pass on a white because you're going to cut it out and then i'll just close it here and use shift control plus j on the keyboard and it will cut it into a new layer now i have a separate one like that after that select the main shape okay or the layer and you can hide the top one so that you don't confuse yourself and then select another one shift control plus j and i can hide it select another one okay so that's what i'm going to do for the rest so i'm done with mine and you can see each of them on a new layer or on a separate layer okay good so that's what we are going to do we are going to delete these two guys so click this delete click this and delete all right so let's clip the images before we move on okay so select the, can start from anywhere i will start from here select this guy and bring an image let's say this guy and i will just hold alt on the keyboard click on the line or the borderline between this layer and the layer below it click to clip it okay Control t and you can resize so i will just clip it in there all right good and select another one let's see i'll bring this guy so you can right click and choose create clipping mask same thing with the alt and clicking okay so just do yours okay paste the others in here okay so i'm done now what we have to do is select everything except the background okay let's select everything set the background and group them all right so now we have them in a group all right so let's go to fx blending options and let's add stroke so the stroke we are changing it from outside to inside okay and we can increase um, the stroke size so you can choose your preferred size okay that's cool click okay so you can do this for food or any other Okay, so let's grab the pen tool and select the layer below the group. Okay, so grab the pen with the pen tool. We are just going to have some shape. So I'm going to start from here. Alright, and then I'll just make sure I keep it. Okay, here. And then join it over here. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, we are just trying to hide something. Oh, what is happening? hold alt you can tweak the handle over here all right so I'll, i can click here outside okay and then close them from here so let's select the background gradients okay and let's bring this image let's go to filter now let's change it to soft light let's change the blend mode to soft light let's go to filter blur and gaussian blur so we can make it 10 okay and we can change the fill opacity now what we are going to do is very crucial so click this guy okay once you click this guy in the layers panel it will get selected that's it and the layer below it is the layer it is clipped in and this guy when you click it you can see it is on top of this one so let's select this image and the layer it is clipped in and let's add this image and the layer it is clipped in so you have four layers selected now we are going to drag them out of the group okay so drag them out of the group like that so we have the group and we got these uh, four guys okay out of the group now this stroke is applied to the group so hold alt on the keyboard click on the stroke and apply it to this shape you can see it it gets applied to it now hold alt again and apply it to this guy so we have the strokes applied to them because we are going to add drop shadow and once they are in the group it can't you know you know it will it will be something else <laughs> okay so let's select this guy okay and go to you can double click on the stroke here the 
layer style will pop up and let's add drop shadow from here so the angle i think this angle looks cool and the distance maybe this is somehow cool and the size probably the opacity not too much okay so we got opacity 17 and distance to of 18 for the size click okay now just we are duplicating the drop shadow onto this one okay so hold alt and click and drag from the drop shadow okay and drop onto this you add the drop shadow to this that is all that we wanted to do now let's make a layers panel healthy so let's group these four guys okay control g to group all right you can name them so this is the first group and this is the second group so select the first one okay and at this point you can bring anything that is attached to this brand or whatever they sell whether drinks smoothies you can place them here or any other pastry that didn't get clipped in one of these images you can bring them here so at this moment it could be anything whether cake or smoothie all right so you can use one image okay or you can make it smaller what am i doing so you can make it smaller like this and then bring another image okay so in case you want to add whether the smooth uh, is this smoothie or ice cream so let me send it to the back so you can choose this or use only one image or whether uh, drinks are attached to this they sell drinks and stuff you can apply them to that okay don't don't worry when that this guy is hidden or something else don't worry okay so or you can just bring them down so that you can see this guy a little all right okay so that, that's cool you can decide whether to go for um, only a single image or you can just input some images in there that's where the name will be now let's select the type 2 t on the keyboard you grab the type 2 okay so let's type something all right so i will scale it up manually ctrl c and resize hold alt click to duplicate and let's choose snacks okay so let's do some resizing over here so the snack should go behind um this guy the ice cream okay now the font that i'm using is rustic delight okay it comes with ligatures so let's go to window and we have glyphs this will pop up so click the text any whether the snacks so click the snacks okay and drag and drop here in case it doesn't show up like this now it will be at the top scroll down and you will see the ligatures over here so grab the text to or the type to and select highlight the a and choose this a right here double click it will be applied highlight the s and go through we got some ligatures s go scroll down and this guy double click all right it will be applied now we are good to go so that is that so you can put slogan or something here okay logo there all right now let's create a new layer on top of the snacks okay and let's grab the brush so when you grab the brush we didn't get rid of the um what do you call the symmetry or the mandala so come up here and choose symmetry off good right click and select soft round brush and squeeze the brush like this okay something like this is cool hit enter and you can add some shadows over here so i'll pick black and probably right click again and squeeze the brush i think that one isn't okay so that was cool maybe some small shadows <laughs> <laughs> not too much okay just to add some you don't want hardcore shadows like that all right those cool we are taking it now what is left is very simple you are just going to add the text details or services or things that we sell okay and i think i might skip that because i mean that's just text typography but let's 
polish this guy up okay so let's select the gifts first and let's go to effects blending options so let's add drop shadow now let's make the opacity let's say 35 or 33 all right and let's make this guy which is the distance 18 and let's bring the angle at 90 and now let's make this guy 13 okay so those cool now let's duplicate hold alt click on the drop shadow click and drag and drop onto the snacks text okay the drop shadow will be applied good now let's grab the pen tool okay and drag or draw this shape okay this glossy guy so hold alt click to cut the four handle and you can close it here okay cool now come up here and choose gradients so once you have the gradient click this guy or you can even ignore that to come to the layers and double click so click here come to this side drop the basics click the middle one foreground to transparent and make sure each color stop is filled with white color okay all right so that is that click here and let's change the angle now let's change it to the side okay and let's drag closer like that okay so click ok add layer mask grab the brush right click and choose soft round and let's clean the make sure foreground color is black so oh now nah, let me undo that okay so <laughs> it's black and let's just clean all right so we got some glossy guy over there so for full tutorial on this i got a video on my channel I'll kindly check that let me just clean this guy okay so you have to put something here all right so this is what we are going to do all right first of all let me add this add new layer change the blend mode to um, lilia dodge and grab the brush okay you are going to add some glows so grab the brush and hold alt on the keyboard to sample from the browns okay so you can pick any click anywhere you have a brown selected and make sure your opacity 100 flow 100 and you can just add some glow lights on top of this okay or some overlays light overlays light leaks and after that you just put the services or menu over here and put the cta the location the contact details over here okay so these are just placeholders put them here and after this just send it or you can paste it in a telegram group for others to see that yes i'm out doing this all right so thanks for watching i'm out this is cool graphics kindly subscribe peace